Okay, in the last video that I made for the personal Nintendo wage, they sent me in their Kirby's Adventure, asked me if I could take a look at it and get it working for him. So he just sent in this generic shell because he didn't want his to get damaged in the mail. So let's put it in and see what's going on. And this is what his was doing in his video. File select not working. Everything plays correctly, except for no status bar. So you can see everything is fully playable. Just that one IRQ line being broken, so the status bar can't be displayed correctly. It's displaying the previous graphics instead of interrupting and switching the banks on the on the character RAM, character ROM. So, let's open it up and take a look at it. Here's what the board looks like out of the shell. Now, a little trick I always like to do is you can take a flashlight and shine it right underneath the board and look for damaged traces. And there you can see number 15, that's the IRQ line. So, what we're going to do is there's a little solder via right there on pin 13. 11, 12, 13, yep, 13, of the MMC3, so I'm just going to run a wire from that via, and I'm going to scratch off some of the solder mask on pin 15 right there, and just run a wire between the two, and then we're going to check it again, see if the status bar works. Okay, and I've got my soldering gun warmed up, so I'm just going to put that right over the via, and suck out the solder. Alright, there we go. Just suck the solder right out. Then now we're just going to run a wire from the one via to the pin down there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my x -Acto knife and scratch off some of the solder mask. Because I don't want the wire down here on the contacts. I don't want to actually go down into the cart connector and end up chewing up some pins. So just take the X-Acto knife and scrape upward. So you get all, enough solder mask off that you can run a wire to it. Right, don't put a little bit of flux on it. on the soldering iron, or a little bit of solder. Put just a little bit more on so the wire will stick down. There we go, that should be more than enough. Now I got this 36 gauge wire. This one's small enough that it won't get caught. That it'll let you close the cartridge connector. And I can thread it right through that via right there. Kind of like threading a needle. And this is magnet wire, so you don't need to strip it. When you apply enough heat, it'll just melt off the insulation. Flux right there, and we'll solder it in. Then you can take the excess, just bend it till it pops off. Pull a bit more 
cloaks on that solder. Some of the wire where we're gonna break it off. Again, just bend it, break off the excess wire. There we go. And if we get the multimeter out, we can do a continuity test real quick. Just leave mine sit on the floor. Set up pin 15. All right, let's start back in Nintendo and check and see if the status bar works. Okay, and not sure what it's going to come out, but take a close-up picture and post that in there. My TV likes to take its time to sync up with the HDMI signal. And there we go, status bar is now working. So I'm going to talk to the owner, see if he wants me to maybe run a few wires on some of the other traces. Eventually this board is going to need to be moved, or the mass grounds will need to be moved to a new board. I'm putting in some close-up pictures, but there is a lot of water damage on this board. Some of the edge contacts are being eaten away, and there's a lot of traces that just look kind of sketchy, like they probably won't last too long. So I'm going to discuss with him, see what he wants to do, then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, so I got in touch with the owner and he sent me in a copy of Deja Vu. We're going to use this for a board swap. I'm going to put the Deja Vu chips in the Kirby board. And I'm going to put the Kirby chips in this board. So I already opened it up and took a look at it. And as you can see, the contacts are a lot nicer compared to the Kirby board. So you can still, yeah, they still have the gold on it and none of the traces are being eaten away. So let's go ahead and get this board swap done. Okay, so I went ahead and desired the mask rounds for Kirby and Deja Vu. That over there for now. Turn on the soldering iron. And of course some of these legs are being stubborn. Right, there's Kirby installed. And I'm going to do a little bit of maintenance on this board before I install the mask rods. So I'll take that wire so I can solder it a little bit easier. And the pins on the meth or on the MMC3, thinking of SNES for a second there, they look kind of dull, so I'm just going to put some flux on them, give them a quick re solder. So we have a few small bridges up top. So you just put a little bit more flux on, clean off your iron, and just go back over. Alright, 
much better. Let's reconnect this wire. All right, got continuity. Let's give them a test run. Okay, first up we got Kirby. Looks like everything's working right. Looks good. Let's check out Deja Vu now. And looks like Deja Vu works too. Alright, so the only thing I have left to do is get these buttoned up and get them back to the owner.